All right, welcome back to more Dark Souls. Last time we uh, beat some ass, we uh, triumphed over a boss. We got through Blight Town pretty much. We got a little bit of stuff left to do in Blight Town, but we're gonna pretty much get all the, all that stuff wrapped up in this video. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna traverse the rest of the swamp. Uh, kind of. I mean, we're not gonna go through the entire swamp because I just don't really feel like it. I don't feel like dealing with poison and bullshit, and the swamp really isn't all that fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this giant tree, and we're going to explore a new area. I'm going to kill these things, though, because sometimes they drop uh, uh, large titanite shards, which I do need to upgrade my weapon. All right. Go ahead and uh, heal myself up. Yeah, we're going into kind of uh, kind of two different areas, uh, neither of which are particularly amazing. I would say the second area is kind of cool just because it looks cool. But let's go ahead and bust these invisible walls down. Uh, beware of fog wall. That's right. <sighs> There's another one. Tricky Dark Souls. All right, what do we get? We get a twin humanity. How awesome. So this will segue us into the Great Hollow, and then the Great Hollow will segue us into the Ash Lake. And I figured now is pretty much the best time to go ahead and explore these areas and whatnot. Alright, how many souls do I need for a level up? I need 6k... I don't really know exactly how many I have. Um, also, you can get cursed in this area. The Great Hollow has got some of those uh, lovely cursed frog, lizard, whatever the fuck you want to call them. They're gross. <laughs> I know that. There's also a bunch of items in this area that I'll probably not be getting. Because I either don't know how to get them, or... The process of getting them is a pain in the ass. I'll try my best, but there's like a crystal lizard over there. What if I can? Wonder if I can hit him from here. Oh, I really hope I can get him. Oh man, doing 14 damage per arrow. Good stuff. As long as I oh man, I almost got him. I almost got him. Oh please. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I got two twinkling titanite, baby. That makes me a happy little girl. Yes, it does. I guess I can try for that item. <clears throat> Basically, the objective of this area is you're kind of working your way downward. It's kind of a, uh, it's a vertical area as opposed to horizontal. Holy shit, I almost died. Ho -ho. It's a red titanite chunk. Hooray. I don't think I plan on using that. You never know really never know, but I, I don't think I'm going to use that. Alright, um, let's see, I need to, I need to like jump over here. No, I just need to keep on keeping on. Um, alright. Well shit, now what? <laughs> um, oh god, I almost fell. Oh, there we go. I need to, like, drop it. Oh, shit! I almost fell again. That's bad. Uh-huh. Here's the curse frogs. Oh, great. I've been spotted. Please don't curse me. Oh, God. I, I am in the fog, baby. I am in the fog. I am out of here. Yeah, here. Follow me up here. I could just use my bow and try and cheese them. Ah! At least these things die a little bit quicker now. Thanks to the magic of leveling up. Alright. Hopefully that's the last of them. I kind of doubt it, but you know, hopefully. Getting cursed fucking sucks. It really does. Alright. Um. Which way? I think I need to go down here. I, I need to find a ladder. I'm pretty sure I need to find a ladder of some kind. <laughs> Just 
keep on going down, I guess. I know at some point there's like a couple of ladders that I have to go down. Also, I'm pretty sure that getting up out of this area is a little bit easier than getting down. So I guess that's kind of nice. Because like I said, we don't, have, we don't have bonfire travel yet. We do not unlock the ability to warp between bonfires until quite a bit later in the game. So we are on foot. Meaning we are going to have to trek our happy asses out of here manually. <clears throat> hey, more curse for- oh shit, I fell. Holy shit, that was almost really, really bad. I landed like right next to the edge. I'm gonna try and heal. I'm gonna stab this asshole. Holy shit, please! Oh, I've been cursed. I've been cursed. Damn, that is quite literally the second time I've been cursed in this playthrough. That sucks. At least I still have purging stones. I've got quite a few purging stones, actually. Eh. Alright, I wish that message would go away. Thank you. Do 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 do. Let me whip out my stones. Alright. Hopefully this uh, <clears throat> goes a little bit better this time. All I can really say. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea how to get that item. Maybe I just have to... Go in here? I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to get that item. I feel like maybe you just have to go around over here, but... Like, apparently not. Alright. Um... You like drop back down over here. I need to like really try and triangulate this. At this point, I'm like looking for shortcuts to try and get down quicker, but that's not a very good idea. Oh well, shit! I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I didn't mean to thrust myself off the edge. I really didn't mean to do that. I kind of knew right as I hit the button, I was like, ooh, that's, that's a mistake. That's not a good call. I don't know why I, I went for the thrust attack. Alright, alright, take two. This time, no shortcuts. I'm just gonna follow- No! <laughs> that time I just, I hit sprint and I started move- No. Oh. For shame. For shame. At this point, I'm just wasting time. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hey, look, it's my stuff! <laughs> All zero of my souls. Amazing. Yeah, I should just... I should just stop being so reckless as I go through this area. It's just hard not to, man. hard not to because I just I don't know I hate repeating content even though it's my own fault <laughs> no one to blame but myself for my my reckless and stupid behavior uh should I try and drop down to that branch from here probably die hey I made it I made it I told you I'd make it I told you there's no way I'm gonna die hey, there's a crystal lizard right there oh he disappeared just in the nick of time well, that's what you get. That is what you get. That's what you get for, for putting in effort. Alright, well now I, hopefully things will go a little bit better down here. Now that uh, I have a better memory of what to expect. There's curse frogs, there's holes in the ground. It's, it's awesome. I'm just gonna try to, try to avoid these guys. Find a really optimal place to drop down if I can. I know if you drop down in one of these holes, you can get an item. I just remembered that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, dr oh, okay. Well, that's 
Ah, fuck. <laughs> Geronimo! It's a blue Titanite chunk. That's, that's not what I wanted. Fucking Santa Claus showing up at my house with this, these bullshit Christmas presents. You see, now I don't want to go down there because the, I know I'm safe up here. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just all, like, stuck and shit here. We'll drop attacking. Is he dead? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Good, good. All right. What's this item? Hey, get get away from me. I'm trying to pick up items. I am... I'm leaving. Oh, God. They're following me. I don't even care. These things don't even have real attacks. They just spew curse gas at you. That's not a real attack. I'm sorry. Oh, God. The camera. The camera is going to send me to my death here. I really hope that these things just commit mass suicide. Hey look, it's the mushroom men. Yeah, these mushroom enemies actually kind of hurt if they hit you. At least the big ones do. I don't know about the little tiny ones. Once we get to the bottom of the, the mushroom kingdom here, <laughs> we'll start running into some big guys. Alright. Hell... Hell am I supposed to get down from here? Oh god. Oh shit! Ugh. That was not the safe way down. Yeah, these guys right here will fuck you up. Those big ass mushroom men. We're just gonna leave. We are Audi 5000. Alright, now welcome to one of the most visually stunning areas in all of video games. The Ash Lake. I love this area purely because of how pretty it looks. However, it pains me to say it, but uh, the Ash Lake actually kind of sucks. Like, this area is not really that great. Objectively speaking, this area... I don't know, like, I don't know there just isn't a whole lot going on. There's a Hydra over there that you can fight. There's a couple of enemies that you can kill. Aside from that, this area is just like kind of a lengthy expanse of nothing. I'll show you everything the area has to offer. But, I mean, it's nothing too crazy. It's really nothing overly spectacular. Uh... forgot that I lost all my souls, so I can't level up. <laughs> but that's okay. We can try to fight this Hydra. Uh, the Hy I don't really think you get anything from fighting this guy, except for Dragon Scale. We might as well. Oh wow, he does. He does water damage, I see. I'm pretty sure that attack is like pretty easy to avoid. I'm not doing a very good job uh, demonstrating. Oh god, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm just trying to heal and this fucking asshole is just Oh. All right, I'm going to wait for him to like do an attack. I might be like way too underleveled to fight this thing. I might be like ridiculously low level for this. I don't know if I want to fight this Hydra as the thing because like you don't get anything out of it. There's a Hydra in uh, in a different area that you know if you fight it you actually get a meaningful reward out of it. But this Hydra, I don't know, this Hydra might just be a waste of time. I mean I'll, I'll try it anyway. If I keep on getting my ass kicked, I'll just leave, and <laughs> that'll be that. Alright. Also, when you fight the Hydra, make sure you don't step over that line in the water. Because you'll fall in and die. <laughs> as long as you stay kind of yay distance, like right about here, his water attacks will probably have a, a hard time hitting you for the most part. Not that one, though. Not that one. Drink up. He's not doing any of his uh, his head attacks. Meaning I can't really hit him. If he doesn't start doing like attacks with his head, then I, I can't do anything here. Uh... Hello? I don't... Alright, well there's one. Yeah, you need him to do that attack, but you need him to do it constantly. Yeah, I don't think I want to do this. This is going to take so long. 
It's it's gonna be really boring too. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know where I was at. All right, let's go get my twelve hundred souls back. Oh fuck! That was <laughs> that was amazing. I don't even know where I like. I don't even know where I ended up, like, backing up to, like, probably right about here. Where are my souls? Oh, there they are. That was unfortunate. It was funny. Like, <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Shit, this is, uh, this has been a very death-filled video. It really has. Partially because I'm under-leveled, but mostly 90% because I, uh... Ugh, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I really don't want that thing to attack me. I just want to come over here, fight some crab enemies. And then get to the end of this area, which won't take long. And then we'll be back with the main part of the game. That Hydra is totally trying to kill me still. I... Don't like. Wait, wait, where, where, where? Oh, okay, okay. I just want to fight this clam. Holy shit, the Hydra's damaging the clams. Where's all this excess water coming from? Wait, is the Hydra? Holy shit, the Hy I didn't know the Hydra could do that. That's so cool. I never, I've never seen the Hydra do that. I did not know he could like relocate. That is so cool, man. I swear, I learn something new every time I play this game. There's an item down here. Ooh, give me this! Honestly, I could probably fight the clam down here. Maybe. If I don't fall in this water, which seems likely. Uh, I'm scared now. Yeah, I'm gonna fall in this water. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Get away from me, clam. The thing about these clams is that they can stun lock you, like, pretty easily, and their attacks do a ton of damage. Like that. Look, he just, like, slapped me with his- oh, shit! I thought this guy was dead. I don't know why, but I thought that clam had gone AWOL. Alright, well, I'm just gonna run my happy ass away. Oh, brave Sir Robin. He ran away. He buggered out. That guy's almost dead. He's like having a little fight with the Hydra all his own. Weird times at Ash Lake right now. Strange times indeed. I'm just gonna get to the end of this area. I don't really think there's anything else to do here. I know you can go inside that tree. Or it might be... Th eh, it might be this other tree, I don't remember. You can go inside one of the trees and you can fight more mushroom dudes. There might be some items in there, but I don't know. I'm not getting followed by the clams anymore, that's nice. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that if you don't kill this Hydra, he'll just sort of like harass you through the area. <laughs> Ow, okay. Oh, come on! It's like having my shield up just doesn't register sometimes. So far the Hydra is doing more damage to the clams than he is me. I'd like to fight some of this stuff, but the Hydra is not really letting me. He's like on my side, but he's all- Oh! Oh, come on! That killed me in one hit. What the fuck? I was dodging those left and right, like, the whole time I was in this area. And now you're gonna tell me that one of them kills me? Ugh. Well, I I'm calling- I'm calling shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans on that. I don't think I've ever died this often in, like, this kind of a time frame in Dark Souls. Maybe when I first started playing the game. But I don't think I've ever d died this many times in, like, just like a 15-minute segment of this game. I don't want this Hydra to be aggroed, either. kind of want him to, like, be in his own little world. 
That's kind of cool that he can, like, relocate around the pond, or the lake. Why I keep calling it a pond. Yeah, I didn't know he could do that. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna try and sneak on by him. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, he's moving again. He's moving again. Oh my god. What is he- wait, what the f- what- what the- Oh, whoa. Oh. So he flies over there. I thought, okay, I didn't see that part. I was under the impression that my man swam under the island or something. Nah, he, he flies. Alright, well, f I, I just, I just gained like a hundred points of respect for my man, the Hydra. That was like the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. Just a big, like, eight, eight-headed snake thing flying over the fucking... That was so cool. I don't even have words for that. That was some shenanigans. I seriously am learning, learning shit about Dark Souls right now. Ah, oh, no! If he hits me from behind, his attacks are going to do more damage, so... I should probably, like, face him and... Try to do- try to do this more carefully. Alright, there's that guy. Alright, alright, alright. There's my- my souls, which is probably nothing. Ah, oh, it's actually- alright, a little bit more than I thought. Still not, like, a ton. Alright, I don't know if the Hydra is really still aggroed anymore. I assume he might fly over here and try and fuck with me some more. Oh shit, he is aggroed! What a jerk. How far does the, do those things go? Holy shit! Those things go far as fuck. Fucking Hydra spitballs, man. I don't even want to fight that Hydra. Imminent Dragon, alright. We're pretty much at the end of this, this little area here. And what do we got? We got a giant fucking dragon man. Show yourself, giant dragon man. Yeah, this dude's cool as fuck. Look at his face too, like his face like is just, is just really cool. It's like a skull dragon dude. Alright. Uh, I guess I can fix my stuff while I'm here. Again, might as well. Uh, I need to re-equip my night shield. That's what I need to do. The only reason I put on the Dragon Crest shield was to fight uh, Quaylog or Qlog or whatever. I still don't know her name. Uh, is this the best shield I have? I think it is. Now let's go with this bad boy. Uh, all right. Uh, pray to the everlasting dragons. I will enter your covenants. For no particular reason other than this guy looks cool. I want to be a part of this guy's covenant. You get a dragon headstone and dragon eye. We can offer him dragon scales. I have three. I'll give him one. There you go, buddy. Have yourself a dragon scale. You earned it. And now, something else cool that you can do with this guy. And also, he doesn't give a shit about you doing this, by the way. This is all fair game in the eyes of the dragon gods. Just go ahead and slice off his tail. Shouldn't take long. If my weapon did more damage, this would be much quicker. I'm still kind of under-leveled in the damage department. Ugh. Any minute now. There we go. And we get the Dragon Greatsword. And he is totally okay with that. I don't know why he's okay with that, but he is. Thank you. My friend, the Dragon King. Alright. So the rest of this video is just going to be me getting back to the surface. Uh, pretty much getting back up through this area, and then up through Great Hollow, and then getting out of Blight Town, pretty much. And that'll be the remainder of this video, so if you go ahead and skip to the next video, if that's what you want to do, uh, we should be pretty much out of all of this shit. I don't know exactly 
where we'll be. Probably Firelink Shrine. But pretty much my goal for the remainder of this video is just to kind of make my way out of all of the the shit that we've just we've just done. I really don't want to fight these clams either. These things fucking hurt. I came I came to this area way too early. Let's go ahead and go ahead and say that. Also this Hydra I wish he would have respawned at his original spot. <laughs> I don't know why he respawned over here. I need to go this way too. I need to go like right past his big dumb fucking uh heads. Alright, well at least I blocked that. At least I blocked that. Yeah, the Hydra is not really that hard to kill if you come pretty much at the time of the game when you're supposed to. Which I did not. <laughs> yeah, the Hydra is actually not not too bad. Um, I don't really like fighting the Hydra just because it's tedious. You have to wait for him to do a certain attack and then you just wail on his stupid head. Also, there's a big old giant skull right there. That's kind of cool. I like how the Hydra can also damage the clams, though. That's, you know, at least fair. Whoa! Looks like he's going to take flight again. I'll, I'll, I'll sit and watch this again. I don't even care. I like to watch the Hydra fly. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, well, what? I am so confused. I am... I'm lost. I am seriously lost. I have no idea. Um... Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna rest at this bonfire before we, uh, we leave. Just in case I die in the Great Hollow, I don't want to get sent back all the way to the fucking Everlasting Dragon. Because that would suck. Really, the only thing I wanted to do in coming down here was show you guys the area and explore the girth of it. Show you the Everlasting Dragon and the Covenant and whatnot. There's really not a whole lot to this area. I don't think we'll be coming back here, but we might. Like I said, the thing I like about the Ash Lake is just that it's super duper pretty. It just looks awesome. When I first came across this area during my first Dark Souls playthrough, I was just like, holy shit. This this is why I play video games. Just for like the, the sense of discovery and exploration that you get from shit like this, you know? I just I really do love this area just, just for that reason. But aside from that, it's really you know, it's a pretty lackluster area as far as like design goes. Not really a whole lot going on there. It's just kinda cool to explore, you know, it's just kinda like the world under the world. I suppose. All these trees and shit just going up. Ah, I'm not gonna fight that guy. I like how these these guys just like fall down, like right in front of you. They're just like face plant. Oh yeah, these guys these guys definitely hurt. These guys definitely hurt a little bit if they hit you. Ooh, hey, look at that shadow. I wonder what that could be. I wonder if it's my favorite enemy in the entire game. The Curse Frog. I like how I've literally gotten cursed, like, every single encounter possible so far. Every time I encounter the Curse Frogs, I get cursed by them. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Alright, well, here I go. At this point, I'm just scared of them. I'm just, I just want to, like, ignore them. Hey, ladder. Holy shit. I really hope that doesn't hit me. Alright, well something just committed suicide. Got some free souls. Get the fuck out of here, you son of a bitch. You fucked my wife. Alright. It like landed on me and it still didn't do any damage. These things don't even do physical attack damage, even when they do physical attacks. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
I fucking hate these things. Yeah, that that attack is what you gotta look out for. Okay, we'll see you later then. Have fun down there. From what I can remember, getting up is a little bit easier than getting down. Maybe that's just how my brain works. But it just seems like, I don't know, the path is a little bit more straightforward. Because when you're going down, like, you're just like, holy shit, this branches in all sorts of directions. I can roll off the, roll off this path and go over here. Roll off over here and do some other shit. But when you're going up, you don't really have those, those same options. You're just sort of going up along the, uh, the cut path. Oh shit, it's the, it's the lizard! Oh, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I would've got him, but I got, I got trolled on this stupid thing right here. That's, uh, alright. How the f are you kidding me? What is this? Uh, dude, come on. Like, like, what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I, I, what do, how do I get up, how do I get up this? I got up it just a second ago. Ugh, I fucking hate shit like this. Oh man, I am so gonna die. I'm gonna fall to my death trying to get over this. Dude, how do I get over this? Like, the, the game is, is just not letting me over. Um, hello? What the fuck? Uh, I, I'm really not the biggest fan of this type of thing. Like, if they did this on purpose to make the game harder, I just, I feel like that makes it even worse. Like, this is such, this is like, either this is a design flaw, or it's just a very desperate attempt at difficulty. I don't know what this is. I can't get over this. I can't get over it. I'm literally stuck. I can't, I can't get over it. What? What the f- I don't know what to do. I got over it just a second ago, and now the game won't let me over. And I'm totally just gonna fall down and die, because the game won't let me over this. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, like, do a jump attack? Like... What, what is this? It won't even let me do a jump attack. It won't even let me do a jump attack. I I'm pressing the... The game is just, like, broken, right? Like, what? Wh what? Ugh. <sighs> Alright, um... All I can really think to do is keep on trying. It's not letting me over this wall. And I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I... Unbelievable. Um... Um, um, I, I, I'm kind of speechless. I am kind of speechless. Uh, Dark Souls is supposed to be a hard game. I get that. But, I, I think we can all agree. I can't think of a single irrational soul on this planet who would who would disagree with this that was absolute bullshit i urge you very strongly to rewind the video and pay very close attention to what just happened i literally died because the game i uh, i don't even know it was it was like it was either a glitch or it was i don't know what that was it was it was upsetting. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I I don't agree with that. Is all I'm gonna say. I I don't understand why the game felt like that was necessary. I'm just gonna say that. I'm pretty pretty miffed about that death. I've died a lot in Dark Souls, and I don't usually get mad, but when I die because of the game, when I die as a direct fault of the game, that is when I get a little bit miffed. Because at that point, it's just like, it's just heaping bullshit. 
that was heaping bullshit. I fell because the game wouldn't let me walk up that path. It put an invisible wall in front of me. Ah, I'm done talking about it. I'm just... I'm gonna try and move on. Hopefully it buffs out and it works this time when I try it again. But, yeah, that's... That's uh, frustrating, to, to say the least. Very, very frustrating. I am uh, not, not super happy about that. Like I said, I'm trying to think how, how could I blame myself for that, but you know, it's just, it wasn't my fault. It just wasn't. That was quite literally the game saying, hey buddy, you're going to fall off this cliff because we want you to. We're putting this invisible wall right in front of you so you can't get up this path for no reason. No matter what you do, no matter how, what you try, no matter how patient you are. And I still can't get up here. I still can't get up here. Unbelievable. I, I, I had to take... You were... <sighs> Alright. Alright. You know, I promised that I wouldn't do, like, I wouldn't rage during the course of this playthrough. I find Dark Souls Rage to be pretty cringy because it's it's a hard game, so... You know, letting yourself get mad at it is kind of unreasonable. So I'm not gonna rage. I'm not gonna get angry. I'm not gonna quit playing just because I'm mad. Um, but, you know, I will definitely... I will definitely admit uh, I'm not a fan of that. Holy shit. Well, at least I didn't die. At least I didn't die. I really just want to get out of this area now. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to remember the, uh, the way out. But yeah, I promised myself that I wouldn't get r ragey during the course of this. Oh, shit. During the course of this playthrough. Just because Dark, dark Souls rage is unreasonable. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I'm fucking... Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. I fucking hate this, man. I hate this. He's literally got me in a fucking corner. There's like nothing I can do. Except run. You best believe that's what I'm doing, baby. Oh boy. Yeah, this has definitely been the most death-filled video of all time. So if you're one of those people who enjoys watching people suck at Dark Souls and die a lot, then hopefully this video has been entertaining for you. <laughs> Granted, most of the deaths in this video were 100% my fault. It was just that one death, really, that, that kind of pissed me off. All the other deaths were, were completely self-induced. Alright. So now let's get up and out of Blight Town. Hopefully, I remember the fastest way to do this, which I think I do. There is a uh, kind of a shortcutty type of thing to get out of Blight Town. Not really a shortcut, as much as it is like an alternate route. Alright, I need to try and remember which way. I think it's over by Q-Log's spider web. I think I need to go back over that way. Also, I would definitely recommend using the rusted iron ring when you're in the swamp. Oh, there's an item over here. Hello, item. Large soul of proud knight. I've I've got a lot of consumable souls. I am banking in those, which is good, cause I uh, I think I'm gonna get ready to buy the uh, the crest of Artorius from Andre. I believe we'll we'll probably open up Darkroot Garden and start maybe getting crack lacking on that area. I uh, have a pretty a pretty clear roadmap in my head of what I want to do, in kind of like the order I want to do it in. All right, now I just got to remember how this fucking thing works. Uh, I need to get up. 
Holy shit, I didn't realize I was being followed by the entire Meatloaf clan. Hot dog. Yeah, we need to get up here, and we need to... I used to die a lot uh, trying to do this correctly, because I don't know why, but I would always mistime it, and I would always just die. Because if you mistime it, you kind of get grinded up in this, uh, this wheel. And... jump! And now it is just a matter of re-navigating this upper tier of Blight Town that I don't really remember much about the layout. <laughs> oh, hey, bug. Hi, bug. Ugh. All right, so I believe the shortcut that I'm looking for is gonna... Oh, shit, there's a toxic guy over here. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, purple moss clump. Oh, I totally forgot about, like, the... Oh, shit, I'm a... That was almost really bad. Hi, bug. Bye, bug. Oh, I totally forgot about this whole little area. It's full of toxic dart snipers, but... Might as well explore it. I don't really remember what's over here. I know there's, like, some items and stuff. I'm definitely gonna get toxic, too, so... Not even worried about it. I've got clumps. Alright, I really need that message to get out of my face. I don't know why, but those messages are so distracting. It's like, please, go away. And I'm toxic again. See what kind of a, a, a fuck I give. I'll just keep on clump. Okay, well. <laughs> Seems that these guys don't give a fuck either. Let's try and whittle their numbers down a little bit. Alright. Go kill this guy too. Huh. Uh. I know there's like a couple more of them too. We're not out of the woods just yet. There's a couple of them down there, along with those stupid dogs. Huh. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh well. Where are these other guys at? That guy. Good old ladder right there. I want to say that there's like a firekeeper soul in this area. Which, if that's the case, I definitely would like it. Soul of a proud knight. Look at all these dogs. Should I, should I take the bold, daring move? Uh, I think I shall. Here we go. Oh wow, hold on. Let me try and re-angle myself. Kind of want to try and hit both of them. Oh, yes! Thank the Lord. And we get a Firekeeper Soul. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, shit, there's definitely more dogs. Here, I got this. Oh, shit. These dogs are a little bit, uh, a little bit tankier. Fucking hate these dogs. They're so small and yet they do so much damage. These things fucking hurt. Alright, where's this other poison dart dickweed? I think he's up top. Which means I will pro Oh shit! What the fuck I didn't God damn, there's so many. Get away. <coughs> A little bit of coughing. They uh startled the cough out of me. Alright, I don't think there's really anything over here. Might just be another way to get back on the, uh, the water wheel platform. Doohickey. I think I'm just gonna... Wait, what the hell? What the fuck? Oh, hey! He's trying to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't know any of the, the dart snipers did that. Alright, well, at least we got a firekeeper soul. Plus three Estus Flask, anyone? I think so. I... Yeah, I need to be on the other side. I could probably jump that, but... I would rather not. <laughs> Dark Souls is a game about mitigating as much risk as you can. 
minimizing and mitigating same same thing. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I'm getting at. All right, I need to go. I think back. How, how did this guy get up here? Is he already up here? Did he did he actually like climb up the ladder somehow? Um, I think I might. Yeah, I think I went. I went down the wrong ladder. This is definitely the part of Blight Town where I don't really remember as much about the layout. Um, don't want to drop down there. Uh, go up here maybe again. Really trying to remember. Trying to remember as much as I can. Oh shit. Ugh. How are you not dead? There we go. Um uh, we can go that way. That's like the only way to go. Camera. I need to find that stupid here we go. This, this is the way I need to go. Perfect. <clears throat> this should lead us out to Valley of the Drakes. Let's lure this guy over here. So I think he's got a buddy. He's definitely got like a buddy. Get over here. What is he, what is he doing? Oh, there he goes. Hurry up. You have to a big fat jerk. Backstab. Right up the hole. Stab! Sla- Ooh, bleed damage for the win! Bleed damage for the freaking win, man. Yeah, give me that shit. Give me that dung pie. Alright. I think he might be the last guy in this tunnel, but I really just want to be sure. Fighting two of these- Oh, yeah, there's definitely another one behind him. Fighting two of these guys at once is a fucking nightmare. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah. Huh. Kill you the same way I killed your friend. Bleed damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am the victor. Give me your... Your dung. <laughs> I can't remember what the dung pie does. I know that you can like throw it at people. It's a really popular PvP item. I know that. I just don't really remember what exactly it does. I could always look into it. I could just pop open my inventory and read about it. Oh, shit. Bleed damage. Bah! You got some dung for me? Nope, no dung. You can actually enter Blight Town this way, too. And it's actually a neat little way to skip through the majority of the area. If you're really having trouble with Blight Town and you, you have the master key. But here we are in Valley of the Drakes. Bada bing bada boom. We're gonna go on back to Firelink Shrine and end the video. And then in the next episode, I think we're uh, gonna go talk to Andre. And hopefully get the Crest of Artorias with all these dank consumable souls I got. It pays to go with the master key. If you don't have the master key, then you can't really do any of what I just did. <laughs> Cutting through Valley of Drakes and New Londo and stuff. Like I said, definitely, definitely, definitely pick the master key. At least if you're a first time Dark Souls player. If you're new to the game, pick that master key. All the other ones suck in comparison. All the other gifts. Boom, Estus Flask, plus three. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me die over and over in Great Hollow and Ash Lake. I know I enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy that one death where the game cheated me into, quite literally cheated me into falling down. But other than that, uh, it was a good time. I'm having a good time with the game and whatnot. Um, obviously, Dark Souls has its quirks that you kind of have to learn to live with. 
not all those quirks are are super fun and manageable but uh for the most part you know it's a, it's a fantastic game and i'm having a good time with it so when we come back next time we'll probably do some uh probably run around firelink shrine a little bit talk to some npcs about new developments and stuff and then uh after that we will uh, uh probably go into dark root garden uh get get some of that area mopped up and uh hopefully you guys are enjoying everything and i'm yeah, I really, I really suck at doing outros, if you can't tell, so I'm just going to kiss all you homies goodnight. Hope that you're just enjoying the series. I'll see you in the next video.